Jason. All right. Now, poor Dale. I wouldn't let him go to the bathroom before the show, so I'm sorry about that, honey. I can't tell you how many times we've started a show with Dale flying on halfway through the first song, sliding into his keyboard because he was in the restroom. But I love you, man. And you, you joined the band about five years ago, and, and I just, when you're not here, I miss you. So just jam on because they'll know why I love you once you play. It was great. I'm both parts. So back to that low, warm, moving thing that I was talking about. He's going to share it with you right now, Mr. Nolan Mendenhall. There's a DVD in there, and if you want to have some real fun, fast forward it and watch Nolan's head. <laughs> Emma and I do that when we want to have some fun on a weekend. I, I just think every chiropractor in the world should give him a call. I, I think he needs to. And last but not least, the man who, you know, you, you got drummers and then you got drummer gods. 
I've been playing with Ron since 1995. He walked into the studio. I'd never met him. And, uh, Billy said, this guy's coming in to play on the record. And Ron said, how do you want to hear this song? And Billy said, well, I heard it this way. And I said, of course. Well, I didn't hear it like that. I heard it like this. And Ron, being the ever-professional, played in between and made us both happy. So little did he know that was his Jill Jack death sentence and he'd be with me forever. Not only does he keep my band together, keep him solid, but he even let me use his wife to marry me to my husband two years ago, wherever Pam is. I don't know if she's here tonight. but And he gives a heck of a prayer before we get going. So give it up for the ever-talented Mr. Ron Pangborn on drum! Yeah. 